What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little secret adjustments to help you shut down the meta offenses. Um, this is not just good for bunch. It's actually, it's good for pretty much any offense. It's actually becoming one of my base calls. Uh, whenever I'm just trying to kind of get a feel for what my opponent is doing, I love to go to this play for several different reasons. We're going to break that down in this video. So super excited. But before we jump into the video, I do want to re remind you that if you've not picked up my nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I would highly encourage you to do that. I've gotten word that there could potentially be a patch or an update over the course of these next couple weeks. So if there's anything that changes with the defense, we will be certain to update you guys of that. We're also doing a major update into that defensive ebook today, sharing some new coverage schemes, some new concepts, as well as some new pressure schemes. So that being said, if you want to get the best defense in Madden right now, the most consistent defense, and the cool part about this is it's from the Giants playbook, so it doesn't just have 335 odd, you also have 335 wide, big nickel over G, some other really good concepts as well. But that being said, if you want to get the best defense in Madden, there's a link in the description below. So you just head down to the description, click that link, it'll take you over to the website, you can get the full defensive guide for just 15 bucks super cheap super affordable and uh, that's our commitment to you to make all of our guides super cheap and affordable but also really in depth there's several hours of content uh, we really dive into how to actually stop some of these best uh, formations in the game I've got a really good update this this weekend uh, come or this uh, today coming in for uh, match defense as well so anyways that being said if you want to get the defense there's a link in the description all right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the strong safety inside package, and you're going to see here that in my packages, um, I just clicked strong safety inside, okay? Now, from there, what we can do is we can go through and sub in whatever, whoever we want. If we want a corner out here, we certainly can do that. Um, you're going to see here that I'm just going to go through and, and sub in, um, just sub in different corners at different positions, just kind of make sure I got all the guys that I want on the field in the game. And then we're going to come out into uh, the, the, the uh, LE Cross 3 if you want to. You can also just come out in the Tampa 2 or the Cover 2 Sync. I'm going to come out in Cover 2 Sync because I can then audible over to Tampa 2. And I just want to show you the coverage. It's the push, there's, there's still pressure out of this. You can still get instant pressure. But let me just show you. I just really want to primarily show you the coverage. So let me back the ball up here, kind of get bunch onto the onto the wide side of the field and really walk you through uh, why I think this is just such a good defense. The Cloud Flats this year, um, especially since they patched it, the Cloud Flats on the outside actually do a decent job at stopping a little bit of everything. They don't stop everything, but they do stop some stuff and they contain most of stuff. So uh, a flat route, if you throw it against the Cloud, uh, let me show you real quick. So I'm just going to... Uh, throw this throw this cloud or throw this flat route to uh, to Gronk and watch how the cloud flat will play it this year snap throw it out there and he see here he's gonna tackle him for five yards okay and you'll live with that right I mean you'll live with that at least in the beginning kind of getting a feel for what's gonna happen um, there are ways that you can actually make this a little bit better one of those is you can do this baseline trick and what you'll see here if I throw this out there now he's up there a little bit more, and he takes that away a little bit better. So it's really good for sideline routes, in my opinion. So, But the problem with cover cover two is that it gets bombed way too easily. For example, if I'm in cover two here, watch this. All I got to do is go to verticals, put the square receiver on a fade, and I should get a laser up the sideline, just like that, every time. Okay, I can also work some concepts on the backside. So, for example, if I go to cover two, I go to verticals half back under, that circle receiver is going to cook cover two. And really the problem is the deep half zones don't get enough depth. So this is why we go to that strong safety and side package. What you're going to notice here is whenever I go to, uh, whenever I go to Tampa 2, I could now, um, I could now take this guy and put him into an outside third. So I'll put him in outside third. I'll kind of bring him down. I can take this guy and put him in an outside third. Whoops. Or deep half. And what I also like about this is I can actually take this guy. Once if I base align this, I can take this guy and I can do a lot of stuff, which is one of the things I can do is put him into a middle third, which I love because now we've got this nice little cloud coverage. It's actually really good for any cover three bombs. We'll show that in just a second. And then what you can do is you can take... This mid-read, I actually like mid-reads this year. I think they play okay. Um, so I could just drop Vernon Golston here into a vertical hook zone. And now I've got a three-man pressure. And all I've got to do is use her the, use her the running back side, right? That's it. 
So let me just show you how this works. I'm going to go to verticals halfback under the same play that just killed us for one play score. And uh, we're just going to show you kind of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and streak, get real vertical with this and uh, snap the ball. And now if I try to throw that, you see it's going to get intercepted every time. Okay. This is really a great formula, in my opinion, for a base defense because it's been but don't break. It's, it's certainly been but don't break. Okay. Um, you're not going to stop everything, but you will stop most things. If you want to, you can drop David into the mid mid zone, um, and then you can go ahead and outside outside third on both sides. Um, it takes you a little bit to get used to these adjustments, but I like to, with these outside thirds, you can also, I really like to move them down and in. I think they actually play a little better this year when they're kind of at that linebacker position. And then, you know, we can do like a, a three rack over the middle if we want to, or we can just leave them blitzing. It's, it's up to you. Um, that being said, let me show you the right side now. So if they go verticals up the right side seam, you'll see here. There's really, and I, I know I got sacked because the pressure from the 85 out is so good. But let me just show you instant replay. What you'll see is he gets there. See how he has outside leverage? See that? Now the middle linebacker, this is one thing. Real quick, look at this. This is one little thing you got to be aware of. See how he doesn't really do what we want him to do? It's because he's too far to the left. So that's why I typically like to go ahead and base align the defense. Um, because I can then put the safety into a outside third. Or not outside third, but um, middle third. And then I can do, you know, this. Like so. Now I've got, you know, a mid read and a vertical hook on that side. So pretty good coverage there. And then I've got my my uh, standard pressure. If you want to drop this guy into a three wreck, you're more than welcome to, too. So I can bluff blitz that defensive end, put him into a zone. You'll see here um, if I can get it to work. Let's see. I don't know. Registers aren't registering, but you'll see now we get really good coverage vertically. And it's really good for double post because the mid read zone is great for post routes um it actually is really effective especially for gun bunch so let me just show you this one more time but i want to show this to you through the lens of the mid read so again you're outside third in here i like to base a line and press put this guy into a middle third if you're going to do that i would recommend taking this guy and kind of bringing him over here just like so and then you can drop this guy into a vertical hook to take away hitches on that left side and then obviously your pressure is set up and then you're going to use that left side linebacker. Watch what this does to double post. If I try to throw this post route, you see how Levante, there's two people, three people. It's clouded. There's no way to throw that post route. No way to throw that post route. So I love that about that, uh, that coverage. And then I did want to show one last play from Gun Bunch. And that is kind of a, a flood concept. What you'll find is, especially if you kind of maneuver these a little bit, kind of tinker, just kind of move them into the box, um, you will find that you'll get some very interesting coverages out of this. Like I said, I like the middle third, the slot. Let me get that set up. Now let's say they run, let's say they run, um, let's say they run like a corner route, something like this. Take a look at what this does. So good coverage, good coverage, good coverage. You see that cloud flat will take that away. So super good. And that takes away those sharp corner routes. And then those inverted corner routes are those longer ones like out of wide corner, or, um, out of Z spot and go, out of curl flat. You're going to be able to shut those down with the thirds because those thirds, because they're coming from the safeties, they'll actually defend those corners. So there's not a lot open deep downfield. It really forces your opponent to check down, which is why I like the defense so much. Um, and this is a great defense to just start the game out in and just kind of get a feel for what your opponent's wanting to do. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defense, I think it's the best defense in the entire game for a number of reasons. Um, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot of success with the different uh, blitzes that we go over, but you're also gonna learn some of the best coverage schemes in Madden, how to take away things like crossing routes consistently, how to take away things like post routes. Um, I find that this defense is super effective as long as you are willing to think outside the box a little bit with your coverages, because coverage is not easy this year, but it's not impossible. There are things we can do, 
and we obviously have one of the best blitzes in the game. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want to get the 335 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description and you can get that defensive guide for just 15 bucks. So head on down to the description right now, click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away.